Hey everyone, it's Senior Reviews Editor Peter Brown, standing in for reviewer Miguel Concepcion to tell you about Yakuza 5. Diving back into Japan's criminal underworld with series mainstay Kazuma Kiryu as its narrative anchor is like jumping into another season of a well-received cable TV drama. It usually doesn't take eight years for a show to reach its fifth season, but we'll take this over not getting Yakuza 5 at all. It even manages to be more feature-rich than Yakuza 4, thanks to a robust suite of minigames and countless street fights spread across multiple urban districts. As effective as Kazuma can be as a solo protagonist, having four other playable characters, each with their own robust storylines, adds immense value to Yakuza 5. Their journeys are personal, with plot threads that intertwine like a Tarantino film and converge at the end like a narrative Voltron. Kazuma kicks off Yakuza 5 on an intriguing note, disguised as a taxi driver who's making a modest living in Fukuoka. Unsurprisingly, this occupation gave Sega an excuse to make driving an important part of the game overall. There's enough taxi-based gameplay to divert you from the story for hours. When you have a fare, you're expected to adhere to strict rules of the road. On the flip side, you can let loose on the highway with high-speed races, where you can execute special moves inspired by Yakuza 5's combat. There aren't any severe progression barriers to stop you from mainlining the story, though you would have to maintain a strong sense of focus to ignore Yakuza 5's seemingly countless and tantalizing minigames, some of which have the same level of depth as Taxi Driving. To add further variety, the plot of ex-con Taiga Saijima temporarily takes the game out of the concrete jungles of Tokyo and into the snowy forests. This leads to a surprisingly engrossing hunting minigame. Stalking prey without startling them demands a high level of patience and precision, especially since the intensity of snowfall fluctuates frequently. Yakuza 5's thorough tutorials make its time-tested gameplay accessible for newcomers, but its storylines bring with it four games worth of emotional baggage and gravitas. Nothing in Yakuza 5 underscores the series' passage of time more than Haruka Sawamura's story arc. Her continued and consistent relevance in the series serves as one of the many rewards to fans who have followed Yakuza since the first game. The fact that Yakuza 5 marks the first time Haruka is a playable character is noteworthy, although the significance may be lost to first-timers. In Yakuza 5's world, there's only one career path for a Japanese teenage girl like Haruka, that of a pop idol. Given the series' history with rhythm-based gameplay, mostly in the form of karaoke, this chapter makes for a compelling and amusing break from walking in the shoes of a gangster. Beyond the dance studio practices, there are comedy skits, TV show appearances, and even dance-offs in the streets. One amusingly creepy minigame is a meet-and-greet handshake session where you have to please each attending fan as long as you can without attracting the security guard, who is there to keep the line moving. Just don't expect Haruka's road to success to be a smooth one. Rival idols and conflicts with competing management companies provide more than enough drama for this one chapter. The core combat in Yakuza 5 has remained mostly unchanged since the first game, and it's a credit to the series that it hasn't gotten stale yet. Fans will immediately recognize Kazuma's fighting animations. Throws, dodges, and opportunities to learn new moves ensure that combat isn't one-dimensional. Smashing a thug's face on the side of a building never gets old. It always looks brutal, but more importantly, it offers a gratifying sense of finality. As much as you can mash your way to victory with quick attacks, these deadlier moves are doubly effective in scaring off other gangsters, turning a 60-second brawl into a 15-second beating. Despite being similar to previous games, Yakuza 5's combat serves the game very well. While playing previous Yakuza games isn't a prerequisite, loyal fans who have followed the series up to this point will feel rewarded with every throwback, whether it's a return of a supporting character or a revisit to a ramen shop that has remained in business for multiple games. Even if melee combat lacks the sophistication of Batman Arkham games or the Assassin's Creed franchise, Yakuza 5 makes up for its modest shortcomings with enthralling diversions and eye-popping settings that compel one to look at travel deals to Japan. Yeah. Himura no Yutatan Yuri Dekayanki.